Good morning. It's Christopher St. Augustine here, and I'm out here by the McKinsey River, about to do a Imba Epic on the new 2021 Specialized Epic Evo. <laughs> All right, I got my coffee made and I'm back in the van heading towards Cougar Reservoir. <laughs> See, this is where I should have camped. Fuck. You live, you learn. So I don't really like riding with packs, but this is a big ride and I'm not sure if there's gonna be a water source to filter from. So I'm bringing this 10 liter Evoc bag. It's pretty lightweight and it's got a big bladder in it. So I'll have that filled up along with two water bottles on my bike. So I'm not really sure how long this ride's gonna take, but it's gonna, I imagine it's gonna take four to five hours, so I'm gonna bring um, something to eat every hour. That's gonna be enough food. All right, here's everything I'm gonna bring on today's trip. So I got my Evoc FR Light Race 10 liter backpack. Um, the bladder is filled up. There's also a first aid kit in here. I got my food. I think this is gonna be more than enough. And here's a uh, specialized SWAT jacket. If you're a mountain biker or a gravel rider, even a road rider, um, highly suggest this. Since I have a backpack, I'm gonna bring bug spray because the bugs have been super bad. A pair of gloves. I'm gonna bring a headlamp because, again, I'm carrying a backpack, so why not be extra safe? Lighter. Um, what else? I got this Garmin inReach. Uh, just mainly so I can be in touch with my wife and just let her know that I'm okay. Um, it also has like an SOS and pre-programmed messages. More on this little guy later. Sunglasses and tubelito tube, some air, extra valve, some zip ties and tape. And here are extra batteries for the headlamp, extra batteries for the GoPro, extra batteries for the Sony, which I'm filming on right now. Here's my GoPro, I'm gonna bring that with me. And I have my tools and tubeless repair kit on my bike. So that's it. It's Saturday morning, a little after nine. Finally got everything together. I'm by the McKinsey River here to do the O'Leary Trail Loop. It's a 35 mile mountain bike ride. Mostly single track besides this little road portion to the trailhead. And I figured this would be a sick way to break in this new bike. Also just a, another opportunity to do some stuff in the backcountry, get more used to it. Here we go. Made it to the trailhead. This is where I started at King's Castle. Took King Road up to Horse Creek Road. A bunch of really beautiful private homes here and properties. All the way up, 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 to here. And I'm gonna connect with O'Leary here, up Castle Rock, and then do King Castle all the way back to my car. Get just a little check-in, still climbing. Let's see. Yeah, I've been riding for about an hour and 49 minutes. Climbed a little over 2,400 feet, and now I'm on a ridge line, and got a little ways to go before the next turn off. So far, feeling good. Glad I brought the backpack, because I'm definitely gonna go through a lot of my water. The bike feels super good. Climbed super easily. Yeah, pretty stoked. Black forest. Look at what I rigged up. Let's see if you can see this. So I got this fixed blade SOG knife zip tied to my backpack at a pretty good spot. You know, I can just go like this. Whew. I made it. We're 10 miles in, 3,250 feet of climbing. Been on the trail for two hours and 25 minutes. The O'Leary Trail. Cool.
The trail is super busy right now, so I'm gonna wrap this video up um, at the river. And before I jump into my thoughts about the Epic Evo, let me just show you um, the spec real quick. Here we go. So here is the Specialized Epic Evo Pro. This is a size medium. It's full XTR. So here are the levers. Oh, there's my little grip tape came off. I normally have some grip tape right here. So yeah, full XTR, levers, shifters. I swapped out the specialized grips for these death grips. These are my favorite. Here's the Fox 34 step cast. Pretty interesting. Um, this is kind of cut away here. This is 120 mil Kashima coat. Um, so I got rid of the stock tires and I put on a 2.6 butcher. For the wheels, we have Roval carbon wheels with DT Swiss 350 hubs. We got carbon S-Work bars. Again, XTR, XTR lever. This is pretty nice. Everything is really adjustable, which is cool. Specialized stem, and this has the SWAT, which I've modified to have, have the tubeless plug. Pretty stoked on that. Nice specialized seat with titanium rails. Fox transfer, Kashima coat, XTR cranks, XT pedals, XTR rear derailleur, XTR cassette, and again that back wheel, a carbon roval with a DT Swiss 350 hub and a eliminator, eliminator control tire, 2.3 in the back. And what else? Last I guess is be the Fox uh, float DPS shock 110 and two bottle cages here's the EMT tool which is super nice I'm using this instead of the one up here and we also have the Wahoo Roam with just the stock mount that's about it so what are my thoughts on the Specialized Epic Evo Pro after doing this big ride? First off, I definitely need more time on the bike. This was an awesome shakedown ride and a big one at that. So it was kind of cool to, you know, go on that ride and have everything work fine and all that kind of stuff. It was also a good opportunity to um, dial in suspension and things like that. Um, the bike climbed super well. Um, I climbed up that that road and it didn't really feel like I was on a mountain bike. It felt like I was on a gravel bike, which was super nice. Um, 
Obviously when I started descending, I noticed right off the bat that my suspension was way too stiff and I was kind of sliding all over the place. So once I dropped the pressure, um, I was getting a lot more traction and that last King Castle descent was really fun. Another thing I noticed is that the front end is shorter or yeah, the front end is shorter. So I was getting a little strain on my back. So I think I need to either definitely um, bump up the suspension or get a riser bar just to kind of lift up that front end because I can see that um, being a problem for me in the future. I'm just not used to being in that position. All right, forget everything I just said. Um, it's day two, I'm in Oak Ridge and I'm on a trail called Eula and I did a bunch of tweaking on my suspension uh, this morning. I realized that I had the rear shock with the rebound set like all the way high. Um, so I messed up big time yesterday on that. Anyways, I have it kind of set in the middle as a base mark. It feels a lot better. It's like tracking to the ground really good and feels really plush and smooth. Still pedals really well. And same thing goes for the front fork. I had the open mode adjust knob to like not firmer and right now I have it like in the middle and it feels way more plush. I think I'm sitting a little bit more into the travel because I let a bunch of air out yesterday. So when I get back to the car, I'm gonna add a little bit back in on the front end to hopefully keep me up a little bit. But otherwise, yeah, this bike is ripping Eula right now at kind of like dangerous speeds, honestly. Mm -hmm. 